Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. You're watching Pixelbeep. We're playing Warhammer 40k Death Watch Tournament Invasion. We're having fun and we're just headed into, I think, what's Act 7, Mission 3, um, Part 3. And uh, we are to overload a macro cannon. That sounds very, very exciting. Rufus has had an amazing performance. Uh, over the last couple of missions uh, He's been equipped with a multi melta and he's been doing a great job wielding it but just for the sake of my personal preference here Let's uh, Equip him with this beast, you know, now I'm saying this beast uh, Crazy 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 thing very very long range um, nice bonuses to both accuracy and critical striking um, but how cool is that look at that you know this shiny shiny little beast and we're going to take it to the next mission and we're going to dish out some hell and while we're at it we're going to just let me check the abilities we're going to upgrade Rufus some more provide some more of that accuracy that he's become known for so let's go straight into it there's briefing shortly and I'm really excited about what we'll find out about the cannon You have purified the compound, but the enemy remains beyond its walls. This moon is beyond salvation. Overload the macro cannons and let it die. Okay, let's uh, do just that. So, a change in environment again. Looking fun, we're back in now. Uh, the catacombs, I'm gonna call it catacombs. A um, couple of places we need to cover, and again, split um, narrow pathways for us to discover. Um, so what we might want to do here is let uh, Carl Slayer take a lead. It's gonna take the lead here. Hopefully, Oh my god, making use of those narrow spaces, but right now I think he's running into trouble. Um, and that last cannon is probably not going to come to much of the use, but, you know, let's... Uh, let's not make any snap decisions here. I don't think I'll ever be able to use this thing on Overwatch, but we'll see. Leandros, should he go first? Should he not go first? Uh, doesn't matter, probably. All we're going to get is Xenos anyway. This way, uh, Leandros should be protected just a little bit. And we're going to put Leandro Small Elson right behind Carl. So if he survives, we can heal him. We've not healed in this game yet. Snap. Miss. Ouch, that was a tough bite here. Oh my god. Great. That did it. So really, it's it's very ambivalent with uh, with Carl here. I feel like I'd love to, you know, have him perform great in, in all circumstances. But right now, it's kind of, you know, sometimes works, other times doesn't. Let me heal him. Um, I'm wrong. I I'm sorry. We did we did try out the healing earlier on. Um, but uh. I forgot about it, so the experience probably wasn't that stellar. I know Gene Stealer is coming back. 
So that's Overwatch for him. Yes, that's it. Um, that was. Uh, Kill team. The Tyranids still come. Of course they do, brother. But we are ready for them. Well, you're ready, but you keep missing a lot. So, um. We'll have to snap here with uh, that monster of a weapon Rufus is carrying. As touchdown number one. Dee -dee 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 bomb. Um, question is should I split my characters? Should I not split my characters? I know, really. Let's uh, try to do that and see what happens. Um, sorry, I, I think I'll let Carl go first, uh, as I uh, intended to do. Everybody hiding, right? Actually, I should have let uh, Leandro Smalley also go first here because he has that one action point pit attack close ranged, so that make much more sense than letting um, Carl take over. But hey, this is creepy, this is weird. I don't see anybody. I swear this is super creepy here. You are far um, from Ultramar, brother. Does this place not offend your senses? In what way, Space Wolf? It is rather unpolished, squalid even, compared to the gleaming towers of Makrag, or so I imagine. I have fought in squalor. I have faced demons on mountains of half bone. Do not think to tell me what I consider filth, wolf. <laughs> At last we see true grit from you. I think I even like you, brother. Oh no. We're in a pretty bad position here. Um, I decided to play over the flavor dialogue because we've heard it for like, I know, a lot of times now. Let's, uh, we're in for a show. Right, worked out. Yeah, I've heard it a couple of times now, and, uh, you know, flavor dialogue really nice in this game, but, uh, there's like three types of dialogue being repeated over and over, which is less nice. Alright, here we have. A gene stealer. I'm, I'm really thinking about what to do with Rufus here. I'd love for him to be able to snipe something, but um, the layout of the level, the level design is not really welcoming to that. Ouch. Oh my god. Misses on both sides and a hit. Hey, surprise! Keep shooting! Come on! Retaliate! Oh no! Way too many misses! Chance for redemption here! Another one! Okay, not as useful as I was afraid! Just fairly useful. Sorry, useless, of course. Uh, another bomb set. Bam bidim, bam badam. And kaboom. Soon. Right, and some Overwatch, just in case. We're good on that front. 
Right here, we're gonna take things up close and personal. Boom, bada boom. Oh god, now I miss. I guess it's uh, fairly dark out there, and this is uh, causing all those misses. Let's extend Rufus a little bit. What's the worst that can happen? Um, this exactly. Three action points. Here's our first look at last cannon in action. Well, not much of an effect, but it did work out pretty nicely. Here's a grenade. Fire in the hole. That uh, also worked out nicely. One hit, one kill. Rufus is on roll again. Go cool, with a Carl, who's happy to extend here and run into another gene stealer. Uh, this time he delivers a killing blow. Yeah, Leander's here. Let's just take it one step at a time because we never know what we're gonna find, right? Very exciting. And uh, yeah, I think the Overwatch will come in handy this turn. So. Rufus is going to plant the bomb, more XP for him. Oops, I didn't see that guy. That was a mistake. I should have just taken one step. Bomb buddy down, don't mind me, I'm just setting up a bomb. So what can we do here? What can we do? We can uh set up an overwatch here to protect Rufus at least a little bit. And next turn. Yeah, well, we protected him literally just a little bit. Oh no, look at that tiny bit of HP remaining. That's a joke. Yeah, go on and run. Right, Rufus in for another kill here. Oh my god. Um, must be an apparent. Everybody's missing this turn. Sorry, this, um, on this mission. Well, let's hope it was, uh, last case of that happening. Great, we got this fellow here or uh, rather we used to have this fellow here let's set up double overwatch for that bold guy there and uh, Carl is happily strolling along on his walk let's set up this bomb diddly do diddly do bomb has been planted Terrorists win. Sorry, uh, <laughs> see, he got the joke. Um, that was back to my kind of start years. I haven't really played much since. Um, Source came out, which I think was a tragedy, and then um, Global Offensive um, failed to bring me back. It's got some fun modes, but. Uh, 1.5, respectively 1.6 still has my heart. So, you know, too bad. Too bad for kind of strong losing me, you know. By the way, uh, <laughs> talking about Counter Strike and it's fairly related to Warhammer, not completely, but uh, not completely irrelevant. There was this great mod in Counter Strike, it was called Warhammer 3, sorry, Warcraft 3 mod, where basically you level your folks, you had all these Warcraft races, and as we know, Warcraft is a bit you know, tad of a Warhammer copy. I'm not saying it's it's a straight ripoff, the same way Starcraft sure is not, <laughs> surely isn't a straight ripoff of uh, 
Warhammer 40k, but it's, you know, there is some inspiration there, let's say. Oh, is he still there? And, uh, and yeah, so you had, you know, the ability to play all those different races and uh, level up and gain abilities based on what those races would have normally in the game for abilities. And that was super fun. I mean, it, it, it changed the dynamic of the whole game. Um, normal Counter-Strike felt boring to me, you know, ever after. Um, and I, I have no idea why that mod w was not massively popular. Um, and, and more importantly, I have no idea why there is not a, 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 you know, kind of a s similar standalone title out there. But maybe it goes in line with the mod not being that popular. I mean, you know, it surely wasn't Dota of Counter-Strike, so I explain it. But, uh, you know, if you might still find a server Oh my god, come for me and punish me. You might still find a server for both, um... Let's have Carl deal with this guy. For both uh, Counter-Strike 1.6 and uh, Source. And if you do try the game, great fun. Well, Carl, typically useless here. So we gotta step in. Well, Leander's not very typically useless here. Uh, let me just boost the currency. And uh, again, and they could charge shots. Because I'm afraid the gun might overheat quite soon. Boom. If it were a mace, I'd be really surprised. Or I wouldn't be, I don't know. Let's go. Hey, retaliate again. Down he goes. All right, let's move it here. This one is for Rufus. Perfect shot. Well lined and drives right home. Yeah, stop, 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 stop. Oh my God, I wish uh, this game provided an ability to interrupt movement. It does not, and um, I sometimes forget. Uh, I don't always want to go like step by step, like just right here. Sometimes I just want to take a larger stride in. That seems to be a dead end. Fortunate. So, da -da -da -da, let's run it. When we go to the next round, I think all of our guys will survive. Not worried about one lone gene stealer. Oh, two lone gene stealers, right? <laughs> but uh, they seem to be fairly stupid. This is Hello from Rufus here. And uh, some close action here. Boom, let's do it again. Boom, let's do it for third time. Oops. All right, look what we got here. He'd be right, right for sniping on the next turn from Rufus, so let's hope he does not change position. Carl on his solitary journey. It'd be quite unfortunate if you ran into somebody or something big. Let's see. Oh yeah, I forget about Leandros. Nice shooting. Yeah, I left Leandros back there, but uh, the mission's over soon, so quite confident. We don't have desperate need of him. 
Oops, 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 I did it again. And I'm not Britain Spears. Um, I, I, you know, stopped thinking for a while here and, uh, that's a tragedy, real tragedy, guys. What I did there. I got, uh, two Xenos down my back. Ready to claw at my spine. Very bad situation. Let's plant a bomb here. Uh, just to improve our mood. Tim -ti -di dum beep 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 beep. A bomb has been planted. Sorry, it's just uh, too deep in my hat. Roof is well hidden here. So the fun about the Warcraft 3 kind of psych mod was you got, you know, human alliance with the ultimate of where it's been invisible, especially if they held knife. So it really, really totally changed the dynamic of the game. They could teleport. Um, you'd have orcs regenerating grenades so they could use multiple grenades over the course of a level. So many great things there. Just a smart game combine uh, 3D FPS with an RPG, but I think the majority of FPS audience just couldn't cope with it. Like too difficult, you know, instead of just uh, point and shoot, point and shoot, it was like point, shoot and level up. Totally, totally uh, incomprehensible to some people. And you know, I, I love me a good first person shooter, but uh, not that many of those came out in the recent years and I'm I'm sorry to be so negative here but uh I feel like most of those are just uh same game different coats or have terrible controls you know I mean everybody was raving about Far Cry Blood Dragon uh, I'm sorry Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon it was you know I I tried to play the first level a couple of times. The game's so bad. The controls are bad. They feel very, very clumsy. The, the you know shooting action feels kind of very kind of I don't know 1993. Um, the save load system, save game system is like 1980. Like it's non-existent. Story silly, not very funny. I'm you know I'm sorry, but like. Uh, it's compared with Just Cause 2. That game is nothing. Um, and I'm sorry, I got carried away here again. That was the first mission in which we played with the last cannon. It was uh, amazing. It costs ridiculous amount of uh, action points to use, but it's fun. So I think we might be keeping it for the next mission as well. Um, hero of the map was definitely... Um, I don't know who was the hero of the map, so probably uh, Leonor Smart Yalson. But across the board, very low XP score. Let's go for the card. Woo, something great, something great. Oh, something epic like. Um, I know. Woo, Stimpak. Oh my god, what a joke. Alright, I was really hoping for something great. So cool, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is it for today. I'm um, really excited to have you here with me um, playing this game. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. It's very easy. You just click the subscribe button. Um, if you're watching the whole series, I hope that you can see I'm getting better through this. Um, if not, do tell me in comments and uh, have a fabulous day. Uh, for those who are in the US, for those who are in Europe, have a good night. For those who are in Asia, I know you're sleeping, so enjoy this video in the morning. Thank you, everybody, and see you next time.